Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can insert the data from the HTML form with the help of eloquent model. So these are some key points that we are going to do in this video uh, and they are basically the all steps for uh, uh, complete process. So first of all we will make a form view and make a router for it then we have to make a controller and router for it. After that we have to do some database configuration, make model and uh, we will write the code for insert data and after that we will check entry inside the database that is it inserted or not alright. So the all in this process I am not going to uh, the too much detail because I am not going to tell you that uh, uh, why we have to root and what is the sense of it and all this count. For that if you want to go uh, for the detail then you can watch our other videos, video uh, playlist is given in the description box alright. So now let's start and first of all uh, let's make a view and a route. So uh, for uh, as you know that for the making the view then you have to go inside the resource folder and view folder alright. So I am just going to make a video here. Oh, sorry, making a view here, which is the uh, user view dot blade dot php, and just hit an insert, and just write here some HTML form, and uh, I'm not going to define the head because uh, it will just take too much time or uh, waste of the time. You can see that. Just define a form here and inside the form I will make an action like submit and uh, inside the action uh, just use here method method is post and just take a I'm just going to uh, I'm just uh, I'll tell you the table where I'm just going to insert the data inside my YouTube I'm going to insert the data inside the company so there should be two fields one for the name and another for the address right so I'm just going to take the two fields inside the form input and name is so let's say name and you can write the placeholder inside the placeholder just write here company name alright and the quick things uh, let's take some br tags here like br so that we can just make some uh, uh, space between the two fields right and after that uh, the second field should be address and we can write here company address okay so to make uh, more visibility I am just hiding the sidebar and at the last just take a button button name is uh, submit data and button type should be submit so our form is ready and we must have to send the CSRF token alright so now I think form is ready and uh, now uh, we have to make a route for it for the route we have to go inside the routes and web.php and i'm just going to make a route for it just uh, route and this is a simple view so i'm just going to write a view and uh, just write here form and in the second you can uh, you have to put your file name user view and blade.php you don't need to put it so now let's open the form here and let's see we got the two fields here the company name and company address right so we have to submit the data for now and just write here the submit correctly okay so when you just try to submit it it will go on the uh, 404 because submit request is not here so for that we have to make a controller and I'm just going to open the command prompt writing a PHP artisan make uh, controller name like companies companies all right and here we have to write here make controller and hit the enter and we got uh, successfully got uh, 
create a company here uh, company uh, controller okay so let's check this one okay so I'm just going to make a function here like function save company so I'm just going to make the uh, function with the save and we have to get the data from the form request then we have to put here a request and data will come the request type inside the REQ okay so for now I'm just going to mm, print R dollar REQ and inputs and for that I want to check that this process is uh, working or not after that I will write the another code all right so this is fine now we made the controller here here and we must have to make the route for it so just open the fab.php file again and just write here uh, now the request type should be post and it should be the url should be the submit this one all right because we put this url inside the action all right and after that we have to just write here company controller name and the function name uh, companies at the rate save okay so now uh, I think it should be redirect on the correct place so just refresh it and let's try to s just send some data now you can see that the data is uh, successfully uh, printed inside the controller alright so now let's check the next step uh, now we have to configure the database for that let's open the dot env file and we have to put the three things for the database name as here you can see that my database name is YouTube so I'm just going to put here YouTube uh, username is root obviously and password in my case this is the red hat at the rate one two three in your case it can be blank or it can be something else so the one more th more thing is also done now we have to make the model so just write here PHP artisan make model model name I am just going to put the other model name and uh, I want to tell you that how we can conf configure the custom table in that so I'm just going to put here user simply and just write here model and make model and this one so now model is also created where the model is created for that uh, you have to go inside the app and here you can see that this one okay so our model is also created okay so now uh, we have to write the code for insert but before that I have to write the two things one uh, we have to put the customer table name here for that just write here protected protected uh, I think I just misspell here yeah uh, it's in T okay protected dollar table and the table name is here which is company okay and second thing uh, which is also required that in this table we do not have any uh, a timestamp which is created and at the update end. okay so when you just try to uh, hit it and it will uh, insert data it will told you that you must have to uh, define the timestamp for that you just have to write here public dollar timestamp and it should be false right so I will uh, after that I will sh uh, make it comment and show you that what add it will show to you okay so now this is also fine now let's check the next step which is uh, we have to write the code for insert okay so now just import this file inside your uh, company's uh, controller use app user all right and now uh, just take a dollar mm, data or you can write here let's say dollar user or whatever you want to put user colon ah, it should be new user all right so just write here 
class name here and uh, now we have to check the old request which is the name and address so just simply write here dollar user and dollar req and here you can put simply name okay it should be the equal to and the second request name is uh, address and where they should become and they should become like name the name field will be go inside the name and address will go inside the address of this table okay so here you can see that we have the name and address here fine so everything is uh, fine here so now at the last you just have to use here uh, insert save okay so i think the whole process will be gonna fine and we are able to see that that is inserted so for that let's check if there is some error i will debug it just refresh it and company name is like say lg and address is like say noida and just submit it and now you can see that there is one and when i just try to refresh it now now you can see that lg noida is here okay so let's try to insert some more companies uh, like uh, Microsoft here it is uh, here it is USA that's fine this is also inserted let's see okay so this is the whole process that uh, you can insert the company or uh, you can insert the data in with the help of HTML form if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel take care bye bye